What's up, we're YouTube Squad we to be here, and today we're doing a reaction to Cousin's Revenge, Pac-Man, Beat Him and Even, Worst Game Search by Lowercase Number. Now, it's about time that I do one reaction about Lowercase Number, because I promised, I promised him that I would, I promised him that I would, like, do a reaction of his, and it's about time. So, so yeah, without further ado, I just want to... Let's just watch this. Five minutes, so let's go. I know a lot of you can agree on what video games' best offerings are. Often reminiscing about those memorable characters and amazing boss battles when thinking back on those games. Now I ask, what about the other side of the spectrum? Can you name the top contender for terrible glitches and most stilted dialogue? While some of you may be able to answer that question, I, however, cannot, and looking past the fact that there will be detriment to my mental health, I plan to explore this cesspool that developers are labelled games. In order to abridge the amount of games I need to play, I will use a worst games list from a reliable source, <coughs> Wikipedia, and play through these games until I find Why the worst game that? of all time. So there's some order in how I will go about going through these games. I will go by decade, and according to this list, there were no terrible games in the 1970s, so I guess I'll start in the 80s. The following games I'm going to review feel more like arcade games that have stumbled onto the home consoles of the time. As these are shorter games, I feel as if I can compress three of them into one episode. This trend, however, will not occur frequently in future episodes. The first game, entitled Beat em and Eat em, it was more like the porno version of Kaboom, an Atari game made about a year before this one was released. The gameplay consists of the player running around in a 2D plane to catch the falling object, with lives lost if the object touches the floor. However, instead of bombs being thrown like in Kaboom, male ejaculatory fluid streams from a strangely proportioned man, and instead of a bucket to catch the bombs in, two nude women catch this semen on their bodies. The gameplay itself is functional, so it leads me to believe that m the majority of people at the time criticised it more for the sexual nature rather than looking at its actual gameplay. Now, I'm not saying this is a deep game. You gain a life when you get 69 points. Aha, sex joke. But the game isn't broken, it's just overly sexual. A gender reversal version of this game was made called Philly Flasher, which may be made for... Equality? It's essentially the same game, but it never really captures the spirit of Beat'em. What that means is, well, I can't really envision sexual empowerment as a witch lactating on men. The second game, Custer's Revenge, is in the similar vein as Beat'em, a mainly functional game that is filled with hormones. This game sees you playing as a naked man, avoiding arrows on a 2D plane to... rape a native Indian woman? While ramping up the controversial nature, the shittiness is also amplified. The playable character has a floaty feel, and when accuracy is needed to avoid the arrows, it gets frustrating at times. The arrows themselves fly down and disappear halfway down the screen, giving the illusion that you may have dodged the arrow. Now, this gets especially aggravating when you have to rape the woman as you need to flit in and out of her, and dodging the disappearing arrows is no easy task. There is a gender reversal of this game, but it isn't well known as it seems no one really cares about the rape of a man. Both Beat'em and Custer are mainly functional, yet tasteless games that revolve around a simplistic idea that gets boring fairly quickly. The next game may leave you saying, oh, but Pac-Man is a beloved classic. Why is it on this list? Trash. Now it leads me to point out this is That's actually a port of the arcade game. And oh boy, is it an appalling one. The gameplay is the same found on the arcade games, but with a slightly changed that maze that and flickering that ghosts that make the gameplay about a hundred times harder, as it makes these ghosts unpredictable in their strange movements. There is a significant graphical downgrade with everything looking boxy. It's as if the prince from Katamari Damacy had a cousin obsessed with squares and designed the game's visuals. This port deters players from using the warp tunnels as there is a notable delay when transitioning. 
giving enough time to contemplate playing a better game. My last criticism is the game's ear rapey soundtrack and sound effects. They were present in the last two games, but they're far too distracting in this game not to be mentioned. Now, I know the Atari 2600 had many technical limitations, but if the game plays and looks this poorly, I have to ask, just because you can port Pac-Man to your console, why should you? Out of the games I played today, I consider the Pac-Man port to be the worst of them all, as it physically pained me to play it. As there was a mass shipping of the game with little consumer interest, it was one of the reasons for the game industry crash in the 80s, and the game I will be looking at next is most known for causing this crash. Okay, I think you guys watched this video. If you liked this video and you want to see more, leave a like. If you dislike this video, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I might be able to address you with the problem. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the day. Out of all three of these games, which one do you like the least? I say the Pac-Man of the Atari 2600. But holy crap, that... But holy crap, the... The Custer's Revenge one, that's the one that was shocking. Anyway guys, if you're out on new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to become part of the YouTube squad. And make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I upload another video. And make sure you check me out on Facebook and Google Plus. I am very active on those sites. And yeah. So thanks for being here for squad in the comments watch this video. We'll be it to where y'all. Peace.